So we're here at the second day of Maker Fair 2015. It's our 10th anniversary of Maker Fair, and we've come to the Dremel booth. And I've got you, you are Tim from Dremel. Tell us a little bit about who you are and what you guys brought to the event this year. Well, I'm the director of brand marketing, and we tried to bring a whole bunch of hands-on projects so that people could get exposed, especially younger kids playing with the tools and making projects. So, you know, Dremel's all about getting used, you know, with the users and be being connected with it. So we're trying to expand that and get to younger users. So the hands-on part was a really a big deal for us to bring to the booth as opposed to just having a booth that people are walking by. Yeah, well, I mean, that's Dremel. It's for making stuff, yeah. right? So what are people making in your booth right now? So they're making um, uh, handmade derby cars. So they're starting with a block of wood. They're cut rough cutting it out. They're standing it. We have 3D printed wheels, so they're getting 3D printed parts as well. They're, at, they're drilling holes to put the axles in. They're hammering those in. They're carving them up and editing them, and then they end up with a rolling car. How do you, how do you cut a car with a Dremel? Well, we have, um, we have the saws there. We have the stationary tools coming down to drill the holes for the, so they're using like four different tools, five different tools to finish the little car, and they're walking away with it. And then at the end, they can go into the photo frame and take a picture of, of that from that and post that up, you know, so kind of a remembrance of being at the show and making a project. Very nice. What kind of responses are you getting from people as they walk up to the booth and, <laughs> we and see the We have lines and lines right after the booth, right after the show opens. And then we're on the other side, we have, uh, we're doing these kind of bracelets. We have these raw leather bracelets that are staying in with our micro tool, a little, you know, our little kind of Dremel tool, detail tool. That's the battery powered Dremel, right? I think I've got, yeah. I've got one of those. Yeah. They're great. They it's rock. It's a great, like, add-on tool for details. It sits on your bench. It's always charged. You can always use it. So yeah. Great. So Dremel is one of the lucky companies that gets represented at Maker Faire a lot because everybody brings their Dremel with them for their booth. Have you seen any cool projects and, and Dremel stuff around the fair or anything yeah, yet? Yeah, we've seen a lot. And, you, and it's, you know, everybody that comes to the booth is kind of like, oh, here, I want to show you my stuff. And they're, you know, pull out their phones and they're showing us their projects. And, you know, we see them in the booths around here. A, a gentleman over there making handmade clocks and he's actually hand carving the gears. And we see it all over it. You know, it's a, kind of a universal tool for anybody that's in this space and playing in this space. And we love it. I mean, it's, to, all of our people have to come work the shows because you walk away with just the brand love is just so strong and, and it, you know we're honored to be a part of that and to share that with people it's great absolutely so where could somebody go to learn more about like the kinds of tools that you're using here like if you're unfamiliar about the fact that you could use a Dremel to cut a Pinewood Derby car out of a block of wood where can somebody learn more about that? We're, we're focusing on the makers quite a bit. We're trying to find makers, help support them, help them in their business. We're doing series of videos, um, focusing on different makers and what they do. And, and it's less about almost the project, it's about that one level above the story about why I make and it's been really resonating. So we're doing that too to get a lot of you know, user-generated content and you know, a lot of how-tos to help people learn these projects. So you know, Dremel.com and all of our social channels that we try to feed that out as much as we possibly can. That's great. Are you getting any good ideas for stuff to bring next year? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just keep getting bigger and bigger. You know, it's, it's just our second uh, Maker Faire. We started in New York when we launched the 3D printer. Um, and we got exposed to that and it was great and we loved it. So we're, we're here, we'll be in New York as well and we're trying to see how we can make it to all the smaller ones as well. That's great. Thank you very much for oh, no taking problem. the time to talk with us. I'm going to go play with some stuff and cut some holes in things. <laughs>